we are good to go. So finally, VA is equal to uh, one minus 1.5 plus 0.15 minus 1.35 plus by 0 0.15 J, okay, so we have this. So we know our VD, a VA, so therefore, VD is equal to VA plus by omega AD cross RD from A, okay? So we assume that VD is coming down, right? So the I velocity is positive, the J is negative. So this will be equal to the I is positive. So VD cos 45I minus by VD sine a VD, not 4D, come on. VD sine 45J, right? Why I is positive? Because it's moving towards the right. J component is coming down. Okay. So this will be equal to minus 1.35I plus by 0.15J plus by omega AD. We are assuming going to clockwise minus omega AD K cross. Uh, uh, D from point A minus zero point minus zero point one seven seven I plus by zero point one seven seven J. Okay, so this will be equal to zero point seven zero seven V D I minus by zero point zero seven VDJ, and this will be equal to minus 1.35I plus 0.15J. K cross I is positive, negative, negative will be positive, plus by 0 0.177 omega ADJ. K cross J, K cross J is negative, there's a negative for a magnitude will be positive. 0 0.177 omega ADI. So we are almost done. Okay, so if we look at J component or I component, okay, you look at I component, you get 0 0.707 VD is equal to minus 1.35 uh, plus. 0 0.177 omega AD. I think term test two, no one will leave early. A component. Hey, today, uh, mom, uh, today, I forget to tell you. Today, when you do your 3CO3, do what question first? Do the long question first. Are we clear? You do the multiple choice question first. I, I bring a rope, you go and hang yourself. Yes. Yes. Oh. Thank you. That's what you're pointing out, right? Yeah, I'm serious, yeah? Today, uh, do multiple choice what? Last. Do long question first. Long question now, from where? From where? Homework. Are we clear? Okay, you do multiple choice first, you die. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you you score for your no one fail for that course, okay? It's all information. This one is skill, okay? This is skill. Okay, that one is just da da da. Anyway. Minus 0 0.07 VD. So this is equal to what? 0 0.15 J plus by 0 0.177 Omega AD. Okay. So now, uh, wait, let me check. The I message is, uh, yep, this is good. This is good. This is good. I think we are good. So from here, 
we know that uh, we, 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 can, we can do a few things, okay? So this is 0 0.707, this is minus. So if we put here, so we can put into 1.35 minus by 0 0.177 omega AD is equal to, to 0 0.15 plus by 0 0.177 omega AD. So we will get 0 0.177 times 2 is 0 0.354, 0 0.354 omega AD, and 1.35 minus 0.15 is 1.2. So omega AD is equal to 1.2 divided by 0 0.354. So 1.2 divided by 0.354 is equal to 3.389 or 3.39 radians per second. Okay. So the positive means the rotation that we guess is going this direction is correct. So this direction is good. Okay. And then we, we substitute 0 0.707 VD is equal to minus 1.35 plus by 0 0.177 omega AD, okay? So for this case, uh, do, do not change the sign here. If this one is 3.39, use 3.3. Don't, don't, oh, this is negative. You put a negative that uh, clockwise is negative. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. So VD now, yeah, 0 0.707 VD, is equal to minus 1.35 plus by 0 0.177 multiplied by 3.39, okay? So this will be equal to 0 0.707 VD. So 0.177 times 3.39 minus 1.35 plus uh, is equal to 0 point minus 0 0.15. Let me try again, 0 0.177 times 3.39 minus 1.35 plus uh, uh, 0 0.15. So VD is equal to 0.15 divided by 0.77 uh, minus. Hey, did I do something wrong down here? Let me check. Did I did I cook it up? Is my my omega AD is correct? Minus 1.35 plus by 0.177. Okay. Minus 0.1. Wait. Minus 1.35.177 times by 3.39. Minus 1.35 plus by this is equal to 0. Point, wait, let, let, let me, so 0. 0.177 times by 3.39 is equal to 0. 0.6. So minus 1.35 plus by 0. 0.6. So minus 1.35 plus by 0. 0.6 is equal to minus 0. 0.75. How do I get 0 0.15? So minus 0. Point, divided by 0. 0.707 is equal to 1.06 minus 1.06 meters per second. Now, what does the minus sign mean down here? Yes. Hey. Okay. Yeah. So this is where you know that VD is 1.06 meters per second and it should be in the what? In the other direction. So that's where you come here and you realize that this is your VD and this is wrong. Are we clear? So in real life, in, real, in reality, in a V engine, if this piston is coming down, the opposite one has to be what? Going up. Are we clear? Okay. Now I'm going to mess up with your brains, okay? I'm going to make your brain spin, okay? Are we good now here? I'll let you finish copying first. And I don't want you to write anything. Sit down and listen to me after you finish copying this, okay? Are we good? Okay.
and we are going to do something with it. We are going to talk about friction. Don't get it. Don't get it. Okay, we're going to talk about friction. Okay, watch this, okay? Watch this. This is going to be taught to you in about one and a half weeks time. But I want, I want to embed it into your mind. When we have a block... And this is our applied force. The applied force, this is our center of gravity. Okay. Where is friction acting? Which direction? Towards the right or towards the left? Hey, okay. Left. So this is your FR. Friction force. Now you have a a car made from Oosball. Oh shit. Oh. You have a car make from Uzbo. Okay? And the car has wheels and is moving in this direction. Okay? You know why it's straight like that? Because it's not easy to bend Uzbo. And until they hire people from McMaster, then they can bend Uzbo. Where is friction acting on? Where is friction acting on? Which direction? Towards the right or towards the left? How many of you say left? How many of you say right? Towards the right. Any idea why? Yes. Is it the wheel is spinning or how the... You have to apply this theory. I'm so glad that you all say that it is going this way. Or FF or FR, friction force. Okay, I'm glad you all say it's that way. Why is that? Because if we were to magnify the wheel, Right? The wheel is generating a what? Torque in that direction that will rotate omega in this way. When that's the case, at the point of contact, this is the direction of P. And remember, the friction force has to oppose the what? Applied force. Now, next question. If we have a bowling ball, how does it work? The bowling ball, have you all done bowling before? Yes or no? Right? If the ball is going this way, which direction is the friction force? Okay, so for 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 the ball for the ball oh, for the ball to rotate in that direction what must i do i must bowl from this way yes or no right look at my hand going from left uh, going from what right to where left okay so now how the light works Wait. So the applied force now is going towards the wind, towards the right. 
or this direction. When that's the case, this is your Y. Therefore, are we clear? Okay, so just to tease your brain a bit, what is going to happen in one of the week, one and a half weeks' time? I'm going to stop down here. Now,